Welcome to this problem solving session. Today, we are tackling an interesting inequality problem. The problem states, suppose x, y, z are all greater than zero, and the product of x, y, and z is equal to one. We need to show that one divided by the square root of x plus one over y plus one half, plus one divided by the square root of y plus one over z plus one half, plus one divided by the square root of z plus one over x plus one half, is greater than the square root of 2. Let's define j to represent the left-hand side of the inequality. So, j is the sum of these three terms. To gain some insight, let's consider specific values. Let x be 10 to the power of 10, y be 10 to the power of 10, and z be 10 to the power of negative 20. For these values, the first term becomes approximately 0 because the square root of 10 to the power of 10 dominates the denominator. The second term also becomes approximately 0 for the same reason. The third term simplifies to the square root of 2. Therefore, j is approximately equal to the square root of 2 in this special case, but we need to prove that j is greater than the square root of 2 for all positive values of x, y, and z, given that their product is equal to 1. Now, let's apply the arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality, also known as the AMGM inequality. The AMGM inequality tells us that for any non-negative numbers, the arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Applying this inequality to the terms 1 plus x plus 1 over y, we get the following. One plus x plus one over y is greater than or equal to the square root of two times the square root of x plus one over y plus one half. Therefore, we deduce that one divided by the square root of x plus one over y plus one half is greater than or equal to the square root of two divided by one plus x plus one over y. Using the same reasoning, we can apply this inequality to the other two terms involving y and z. As a result, we get the following bounds. Adding these inequalities together gives us the bound for j. Therefore, we find that j is greater than or equal to the square root of 2 times the sum of y over the quantity 1 plus y plus the product of x and y plus c over the quantity 1 plus c plus the product of y and z plus x over the quantity 1 plus x plus the product of z and x.
Since we know that the product of x, y, and z is equal to 1, we can simplify the expression for j further. This simplification gives us j is greater than or equal to the square root of 2. However, we need to show that j is strictly greater than the square root of 2, not just equal to it. Finally, let's examine when equality might hold. For equality to hold in the AMGM inequality, the terms must be equal. However, solving the resulting system of equations leads to contradictions, such as x plus 1 over y equals 0, which is not possible for positive x and y. Therefore, equality does not hold. And we conclude that j is strictly greater than the square root of 2. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more problem solving sessions. See you next time.